I've double laced my boots. So we are looking for a black bear collar. In preparation for black bear research. Oh no, do you have to go through it? Can't go over it, can't go under it. Guess we'll go through it. Swamp, here we come. We're not right where his den was, but you know, we could certainly, I think if the collar is here, the collar is most definitely tucked into something. Start searching with like a, keeping an eye out for like any potential like holes that we might want to try to just stick our head into and see if there's anything there. Last year, a statewide study of black bears was launched. During the first year of the study, hair samples were collected at various sites for DNA analysis. Additionally, black bears were captured to gather biological data and fitted with collars. This study aimed to gain information on black bears' habits, estimate their population, and learn how they navigate Montana's diverse landscape. One of the challenges of this project is that the bears are collared during the fall when they are at their largest size, preparing for hibernation. When they leave their dens, the collars become looser and can fall off, requiring retrieval. Fun begins looking for a collar that is brown. It is brown and tan. Brown and tan. <laughs> The color of, the color the color of, of nature. <laughs> Once a collar has fallen off, Montana FWP will be alerted that the collar is no longer moving, which will prompt the team to deploy search efforts. Using telemetry, Colby will narrow the search area based on the ping from the collar. If there is no signal at the location, a search will still be conducted at the last known location. So like I'm looking at upended tree here that often creates like a little nook that bears will den in. A black bear den actually can be pretty uh, different depending on the bear or what they have available to them. They can be as, as simple as a very small dugout area under a down tree. They can get really complicated and be like a tunnel system that goes into the hillside. You know, oftentimes I'm looking like I've got this big stump here and it's on a slope. So there could be something dug into the bottom of it that we might want to like try to check out. And maybe that's a good place for a bear to, to bed down for the day. When recreating outdoors, it's essential to be mindful of structures like fallen trees and dense areas as bears might be taking an afternoon nap. Surprise encounters are one of the most common reasons for bear attacks. So be loud and always carry bear spray. We do have bear hair in here. So there was a bear bedded here at some point. Um, and it's pretty cool with the GPS data, you can actually start to see like before animals go into their dens, they often are visiting the site multiple times and it might be fairly sporadic. You know, they might visit it three weeks for one location and then do a big travel. And then they happen to stop by that same spot a couple weeks later and then Sure enough, like a month later, they're inside their den at that same spot. We didn't find the collar today, but this is only the second year of a five-year study of the Black Bear Monitoring Program. In the following years, the intel gathered will be the foundation for understanding population dynamics and ongoing management of Black Bears in Montana.